If a woman puts herself in a position to get raped, it's her responsibility. This is one of the many outlandish quotes that Andrew Tate has used. In recent years, a toxic culture has become more and more prevalent. Toxic relationship specialists have popped up everywhere. And the most recent toxic lover boy is Andrew Tate. Slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. A raging new personality that has taken the internet by storm. In the past, he had a successful kickboxing career and is a successful entrepreneur right now, no doubt. Is he the role model these young, impressionable minds need? What do you think of Andrew Tate? I'd like to not think of him. <laughs> no, that's the, thing. <laughs> the mindset he perpetuates is a battle of what Which society is. should be having. I see him everywhere and one question popped into my, my mind. Who watches him and why do they watch him? Is he a character or is it just him? What draws people to him? A part of me wants to believe he's a character, but from what you see on the internet, it is just him. Chances are you speak to any mature person, they'll probably find the same dislike that me and you maybe have for Andrew Tate. That's because we're not his direct target. Social media regularly shares the message, men are trash. I'm not saying I care, I'm not saying I agree. I'm just saying young, immature men, kids even, will see that and think, do you know what, fuck women. You know, it's just that kind of mentality. So then when they see someone like Andrew Tate who goes against it, it might be one of them ones where they are drawn to that kind of content. I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. Titty, are you titty? It's bang out the machete. Boom in her face and grip her up by the neck. What's up, bitch? He said many controversial things. Uh -huh. Like, but there's some things we kind of have to agree with because he's seen a lot. Like what? But I think so. He's he's gone through. He used to be a kickboxer, right? He's yeah. A kickboxing yeah. champion, and then made money through like casinos and stuff, right? Or like webcam studios. Uh -huh. So he's seen a lot in his lifetime. But I guess what people don't realize is a lot of kids are naive nowadays. And they see like they see like the second bit, like the lifestyle. Bit. Isn't that why they should restrict it more though? Yeah, but I I guess that's also up to like what parents control their kids doing, because like you, oh, you have yeah, you yeah. have like restrictions on such apps, so it's whether whether you enforce them on your own kid. Indirectly, indirectly, in, indirectly he thrives off the hate. I believe his audience will grow out this face for three reasons: the hyper animal will die. Everyone will realize he's being controversial because it's profitable. That is true. Everyone will realise he's like every other celebrity who's done bad things and still gets away with it, okay? <laughs> and at the end of the day, aside from his comments, he does provide value to some people. Whether you like it or not, he's a successful kickboxer and a successful entrepreneur. Do I think he believes what he says? Does it matter? I want to put it out there. I think he is a character. I think it was all satire. I just think people have fallen for it and now he's going with it. Was going to damage you in some way? You deserve what happens to your dumb ass. Breathe air! You don't need a vape. Have you ever seen anyone with a vape? Have you ever, have you ever sat in a room? So we go, wait, oh, let me just go. My vape's done charging. Load up. I mean, I smoke cigars, but I know what the fuck I'm doing. Give me a big fat cigar. I'm risking cancer to look like a mafia boss. Fine. I believe there's two sides to it. The side that wants to learn from his professional career and sees that like Custer's University. Then there's a the side that watches him for the entertainment. The kid that now thinks it's fine for him to kind of call a girl fat. Prefer to get skinny just because Andrew Tate says so. He does a responsibility for fall to now. Personally, I believe it's the parents. And it's a situation that gets fixed from the top, not from the bottom. Like, obviously it's the parents, but people might say otherwise. People might say it's the kids that should know better, but obviously it's the parents. Do you think social media apps should be controlling who's on their apps, like toxic influencers? I think that um, I'm a bit divided because for, uh, on the one hand I believe that there has to be like freedom of expression yeah. and nobody should be judged for what they say. I mean obviously people are going to judge whatever whoever says, right? Yeah. But I think that no limit should be put to that. But obviously there's another part which is the responsibility of each and everybody who is giving an opinion on social network, right? right? Whose responsibility, responsibility is it when it comes to kids because obviously Everyone has a phone now, like, you could go as low as you can, they have phones and they can watch if they want. Is it the parents or the kids' responsibility now? Who does it go to? Or does it go to the social media apps? You want to say something? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think, I, I, yeah, I think it's the parents. Obviously okay. the kids can watch whatever they want, but I think it's also responsibility of the parents to control, maybe to control or to uh, let them know what's good for them, which opinions are more reliable, which ones are not that much. Okay, okay. Yeah. Do you know who, sorry what? Put the, to the limit also. No, he shouldn't be influenced what people think. But at the same time, you have celebrities out there who have admitted to drugging, stealing off people, been accused of molesting children, assaulting colleagues. Why direct all this energy to people? You see on social media, everyone is directing all this hate. Like they give a fuck. Like they give a fuck. Do you think Cardi B, the baby, of their homophobic, drugging men, do you think they give a fuck? Do you think they give a f They don't give a fuck. They are out there still making music because people choose who they want to, don't want to like. People choose who they want to hate, yeah? 
So everyone on social media getting all riled up, sharing like stories on Instagram. Oh, this is why you shouldn't listen to Andrew Tate. And what? You're still listening to Cardi B. You're still listening to Octavian. I'm using musicians for for example, but you're still listening to Michael Jackson. You're still listening. He's, yes, he's dead, but you still listen to him. Doesn't that not defeat the whole moral principle of, you know, not supporting someone who's done bad things? You're a fat, ugly sack of shit. You go on your phone to get away from the real world, but now it's the opposite. You go to the real world to get off your phone. You look at your screen times. I bet you half of you have definitely over five hours. Five hours. Yo, I'm not even lying. Sometimes I, I reach 10 hours and I'm disgusted. Disgusted. Oh my God. But I try and keep it low as possible. It's basically an addiction at this point. It really is an addiction. Social media chooses who they want to cancel. Whether you like it or not, whether you agree or not, and whether how you find the term cringe or not, the cancel, yeah, it's true. People choose who they want to cancel. Your favorite artist is still making music with someone who's re who beat his girl on video. You're watching this video right now because he's trending. If this was a video about Cardi B raping men or the baby's homophobic comments, you wouldn't be watching this now. Maybe a year ago, maybe a few years ago, you would be, but you wouldn't be watching this now because you don't give a fuck. You choose who to hate at the time and then don't give a fuck anymore. You're such, just a waste of space. You and your sad little lives. <laughs> sad little lives. <laughs> if you're my friend, you just can't be a pussy. Well, I had a heart attack. Get the fuck up. Don't take this video as a justification for Tate's behavior because it's not but more for how it's affecting your sad life. But every time something is trending, in my head I'm like, who gives a fuck? But people care, people care. And if you get consumed by it, you care too much. Ah, it's just so baffling to me how people care so much. And it's just, there's so much more out there to life than caring about what's on the internet. To do something to better your own life. Go out, have a bit of fun. Yeah, I'm making a video about him, so I'm being kind of hypocritical, but, that's just because I like making videos. And this time I thought I'd make something different. So, suck your mum.